It may sound surprising, but there was almost a mutiny at the company over that game. It was Rockstar North's pet project. Most of us at Rockstar Games wanted no part of it. We'd already weathered plenty of controversy over Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City. We were no strangers to it, but Manhunt felt different. With GTA, we always had the excuse that the gameplay was untethered. You never had to hurt anybody that wasn't a bad guy in one of the missions. You could play completely ethically if you wanted, and the game was parody anyway, so lighten up. At the time of recording, it is September 2023. Hello, beta tester. As a personal favor, to help us build a community, please like this video and picture yourself in a movie theater. You've paid to watch Jurassic Park, the good one, not one of the new ones, but before the film begins, someone with dyed hair bursts in, loudly demanding towards the projector that any scenes with dinosaurs be skipped over because apparently this person finds them unrealistic. Furthermore, they demand that the lights be turned on because they are bothered by the darkness and as they hoist a baby over their heads, they turn to the audience to make it abundantly clear that the baby is bothered by the darkness too and the baby doesn't like dinosaurs and if you have a problem with their demands you must be some sort of baby hating dinosaur fetishist obsessed with the perverse act of enjoying your weird escape entertainment in the dark with a group of strangers it's almost like anyone with a thesaurus or an AI companion could word just about anything to make it offensive. Odds are, beta tester, you've never thought something along the lines of, why can't superheroes be disabled? Or, what if instead of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they were flamingos? Because you probably enjoy art. You don't hate it and need to censor it. The gaming industry having become the most lucrative avenue of entertainment has suffered a flood of tourists. These tourists have barely stepped off their lifeboats properly on their way from the last ship they helped steer into an iceberg, but they demand and argue for the replacement, erasure, gender and race swapping of any nonsense into something they only just heard about in the midst of their inclusive exclusion. They attempt to mock, silence, and even threaten anyone whom they disagree with. The objective is not only to lower the standards, but to convince you that their new definition is the true definition. And those who don't agree, well, you're in the minority. Often, in their pearl-clutching hypocrisy, the lack of self-awareness actually helps sell a product that some of these hacks unethically fail to instigate boycotts against. Remember when fake journalists covering Hogwarts Legacy tried to feign outrage over being able to use unforgivable curses in the game? <sighs> Which to most of us is like, at a wizarding school? Sounds pretty based. And players didn't even have the freedom to save the game and see how many wizards they could best before being inevitably taken down. And that's the big separation between old and new games. Based developers are the variable calculators that can understand how a bastard might act in any given scenario. They know that we'd want to fight our way to the headmaster's office. But new devs, they want to make sure you can pet the dog. Jesus, I want us to have both, but the dog petters don't want us to have what we want. So to finish the quote from earlier, quote, Manhunt, though, just made us feel icky. It was all about the violence, and it was realistic violence. We all knew there was no way we could explain away that game. There was no way to rationalize it. We were crossing a line, end quote. 
Now, if you ask me, I'd wager that people using terms like icky are not the target demographic for a game like Manhunt. In fact, it sounds a lot like the people ruining games these days that are so high on their own parts that it's instantly clear that they'll be their own demise. Mortal Kombat can rip out spines, but is terrified of titty. I'm sure the blood will be next. Superhero games forget the power fantasy and push Kamala Khan as a what, fan favorite Avenger? Y'all gotta stop joking. These, these jokes are costing you money. What if instead of thugs, they were besties trying to pay off uh, student debt? The fantasy game, keyword being fantasy, is forcing ugly. We try to meme this man to warn people that he's a liar. And he jumps on TV to lie again about his loading screen simulator of an explorationless exploration game. It's not optimized. Spoiler. This is a live service. And it's not finished yet. But maybe that's the genius of modern gaming. They don't need to finish it, especially not Todd Howard. The modders will finish that game for him, and they can repackage those mods and charge people for them, because you'd think that Bethesda just made a destiny with how all the people are going to be defending and willing to volunteer their money for this unfinished product. In The Matrix, there comes a point where Neo realizes he doesn't need to dodge the bullets anymore. So too, in my beloved industry, has Todd Howard realized he no longer needs to tell lies. These bots will lie for him. So gamers are so stupid that they'll tolerate and pay for trash. Tourists are so attention-starved and cult-minded that they'll defend and buy Blizzard's box to spend on whatever they're calling Overwatch these days. I used to joke that the lazy industry couldn't fall more out of touch unless they took the balls out of the sports games, but I'm seeing now that even the FIFA and 2K games are failing to deliver what could be the same game every year. Overnight, all games have turned into Call of Duty, huge budget, huge revenue, worse game, staler, more sanitized, more dated content. I believe gaming is art, and that art by nature is creative, innovative, and boundary pushing. Maybe not all, but some art should certainly cross a line and inspire as Manhunt did. Batman, Last of Us, we don't need to get into the games that Manhunt inspired. And this is why I get particularly mad at anybody insinuating that their mods are not okay. The people need to decide that. When I was younger, I had to argue that books, movies, TV shows should be allowed to be violent and gritty because gaming was, for some reason, being held to a different standard. Standards. Look what Xbox said about Morrowind when that came out. But I guess that was 20 years ago now. Do you think people will remember Starfield in one year? These days, developers see Baldur's Gate and they argue and cry to keep the standards low and expectations lower. Typical, talentless, and intolerant tourist trash. Cult-minded contrarian cunts. So busy funding and defending Blizzard and Bungie that they'll effortlessly be the reason two or three battle passes won't even be enough. And if gamers keep guzzling the garbage juice, it'll only get worse. We used to beg gamers not to pre-order games. Now, we can't even stop people from buying the early access version, sometimes costing twice the price. Starfield did it, and people paid, 
and Diablo did it too, and people paid. Remember Diablo? I know, you know, <laughs> you might have forgotten it. People are buying Payday 3 these days, mostly negative reviews, Discord and damage control mode, servers down on launch, but you know it's okay cause they saw we. Yeah, people will pay $100 for Grand Theft Auto 6 and they'll pay $150 because games are the fix and these people are jonesing for the next bump. Motorcycles are dangerous, but you think they're gonna stop selling them? No, there's money to be made. And if they'd let Grand Theft Auto get away with a casino in their game, come on now. Xbox coordinated to release Starfart after Labor Day. So if you were off and had nothing to do, why not buy the early access version and play right now? Sure, you'll have to pay a little more. Oh no, maybe you toiled in the star field for Mesa Tall Howard and you realized how deliberately tedious and dated the menu navigation that they were calling a game is, how milk toast and Saints Row the writing is, but funniest of all, that most NPCs cannot be killed even after going hostile on you because Bethesda decided that that's bad. Another problem for mods to fix. I sure hope mod sites don't get triggered, especially with how triggered Reddit is getting lately, especially with how triggered a lot of people on Twitter are these days. You know, when you're taking away this many people's ability to speak, Maybe they've got a leg to stand on with this whole free speech shit they're on about. Rest assured, people born yesterday, disingenuous arguments attempting to diminish a multitude of issues to just one thing when the data betrays a trend that the AI, the Chinese algorithms, and better developers are well aware of. It only brings this topic more eyes and beta tester, you are the ones in the comments clarifying. So I thank you, you're the reason why people are seeing the truth. The truth that they want to ignore and they want swept under a rug. You're making sure people see it because let's face it, I put a target on my back by trying to say anything close to the truth. And regardless of how I rap or comedically package the harmless conversation I'm apparently not allowed to have with you, I won't be able to escape this spotlight. I'm not parroting the approved message, so I need to shut up. And this is why the people that I show you that are mad about things that not being the pronoun utopia that they want it to be are so explosively frustrated with reality and constantly in a fight with literal facts. Standards and practices would ruin TV shows. The MPAA would ruin movies. And just like a test screening goes so badly that a movie undergoes rewrites and reshoots, imagine the audience is filled with dyed hair perpetually offended socially inexperienced activists who decided before they saw anything that whatever moves were made in the direction of representation would not be enough. So in the same way if Iron Man were made today and it would need to be a black trans man with vitiligo and maybe missing a limb, Penny, who used to have cleavage and jiggle physics in the teen rated Fortnite is no longer allowed to have that in the game where you pump people full of lead. The art quite simply could not be made today. No gritty Batman, no busty Laura. It's because you put the woke in charge. We can't even talk about difficulty because the games are playing themselves. Is a movie difficult? Some of the movies y'all make, yeah. <laughs> Fetch quests. You have now spoken to this person, so walk over there and speak to that person. A lot of it. And that's what you're capping for. That's what you think should be winning game of the year. That's innovating. That's raising the bar. You ain't ashamed to be on this Starfield bullshit. AI so simple, you can strafe around the enemy. And that's impressive to you. How many games have you played? Aging, ex-creatives, falling out of touch, forfeiting control to gender-obsessed children, conditioned by whatever China's TikTok algorithm has decided will divide people best today, as immersive, spectacular, and standard-raising a phenomenon as RPGs like Baldur's Gate are. I don't know what kind of RPG doesn't allow us sliders to properly customize faces or bodies, which, in my opinion, should be the standard for games. Please. Like this video and comment on whether you think this is deliberate. Is this a coincidence? You ever think back to Cortana? <laughs> Remember Halo? 
Genshin Impact has over 70 characters in it. If that number alarms you, good. Time does not stand still. Fortnite is over 20 seasons deep, and it still has only that one thick girl that they needed to censor. But Dove is partnering with Unreal to virtue signal about how you should be accepting fat women because they've got things that they'd like to sell you. You think Destiny cares about your well-being and your anxiety when they're hiring psychologists to nickel and dime to trick your ass to, to show them that they don't even need to dangle a carrot for some of these people anymore. They'll buy a promise. I say again, many of these gamers will purchase a promise. They will buy the $150 version just to be able to play a couple of days early. And that's going to be the new standard. Last of Us can be gritty and gruesome and bloody, just like Mortal Kombat. But the women will look like men. They limit the technology. They restrict innovation. They are anti-beauty. They are intolerant. Woke. GTA, with all of its bells and whistles, gave NPC women the bust and jiggle that player characters are not allowed. Bethesda used to dazzle with spectacle, engross with a mythical world that responded to your genuine choice, not a set outcome cross-dressing as a choice. All those years of people modding should have been a lesson on what to incorporate into future polished, satisfying, seamless, and frictionless experiences because of the quality of life and crowd-pleasing enhancements that mods would have revealed to you over the decades of people making them. But instead, Starfield dropped undercooked, dated, loading screen heavy with blatantly apparent seams, a harshly deliberate choice to force NPCs to not just skew black and Asian, but bizarrely, even when they could make these digital creations look like anyone or anything, they chose to make them ugly. Wake up, beta testers. If you're modding for their games, you're developing, and you can appeal better than they can. Just as Unity showed developers the mistake that developing for Unity was, you gotta realize your mistake. I may not be cut out for the muzzle Whitey needs me to wear, but don't you dare let your genuine talent go to waste. The same people angry at community notes forcing pesky facts into their delusional hate have big opinions on the successful and long-lasting art that we consume. They want to shave off the edges until this art is smooth and unappealing, like all the other non-threatening things that they approve of. But these edges are what make these things memorable. In fact, these experiences changed some people's lives. It changed mine. Funny how streaming took off through gaming, huh? Sharing our experiences, flexing our triumphs, seeing if the games were scary for other people too. It's something that mattered. Something that mattered enough to some to inspire them to create the next generation of art. If we don't like something, it's just not a big deal. Get over it. Move on. Don't buy it. You're a baby. Touch grass. But if they don't like something, it must be removed, replaced. It's dated. It's a relic of a bygone era. But in actuality, long after the piss-stained publications that are forced to rage bait for clicks because they don't have the talent to draw attention otherwise, will continue to tell lies to try to undermine and silence you because your message, harmless though it may be, threatens their ability to be lazy. They want to cancel you for deciding that the thing that you bought that they changed retroactively, it's not that big a deal, you just need to get used to that. They want to cancel you by deciding what you can't say out loud. I reiterate, not all I would never claim all, but the radicalized DEI ESG puppets that don't know they're on strings because of the attention and potential power that they've always wanted, they genuinely threaten art 
and free speech. Transgender is a term they came up with for themselves and now merely recognizing them as such because yes, we can tell is offensive? Addressing them according to the term that they gave they themselves is offensive? Because to be able to tell is offensive now and I'm apparently supposed to pretend along? Pretend as in humor them like we would a child, as in act, perform? For how long, forever? Because they're already an adult, regardless of their diaper fetish, and my own child would only benefit from such soft training wheel treatment until they've reached adulthood, when the floor and the walls are no longer padded. I plant dozens of trees, whose shade I know I'll never enjoy, and it's because I'm not as selfish as the saboteurs in my beloved gaming industry that I'm somehow expected to constantly be the flotation device for to keep them from drowning in their own delusion. While I'm not at work, the expectation is that when I'm not working, I should be working to reinforce the genjutsu of these psychopaths, these deluded children because I mean otherwise. Overnight, everything that I've said is now not okay. My name is Kyel. My breath, my voice, my words offend. And you know the words too. It's called the truth. Once after a difficult stretch, I got some laughs from a show with Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. And I knew the value that this escape had. It was an experience money couldn't buy. These days, pussies would decide that they're being too mean to Baldy. You know, f forget the fact that it's mostly scripted and that he's a consenting adult. These people just have to whine and ruin the fun. They have to pee in the pool. Beta tester. Maybe music saved you. Maybe art. Maybe exercise. Maybe a book, a manga, an anime. Maybe it was a fucking game. All these things I list, these culturally impactful, significant pieces of art are under attack from this era's pearl clutchers. Their motivation to gunk up the machinery that would push us into the future by any means necessary. If I'm forced to be silent, I hope that you get the harmless shit that you desire. You deserve it. And I also hope that it'll make those of you who've potentially been silent louder on my behalf. Twitter and Discord links in the description. Twitter folk would seem to agree that people need therapy, but what they don't realize is they're actively ruining the therapy that many people have come to rely on, and they're probably going to pass the savings on to somebody. If they try to tell you that having functional eyes makes you a bad person, Don't believe them.